Hey everybody, today I'm going to give you guys a look at the NECA 78 Lori Strode figure I put together, so you might want to stick around. <laughs> Welcome back. So last year, NECA released a Halloween 2 two-pack with Dr. Loomis and Laurie Strode as she appeared in her hospital gown in the film Halloween 2. And it really got me wanting a 78 Laurie Strode since that is the original movie. And I'm not sure NECA has the license to produce any figures from the original Halloween though I would really like them to. So I've taken the Laurie Strode from Halloween 2 and kind of put together my own Laurie Strode from the 78 film. And here she is. Um, it was just a question of finding some things that, you know, that I could put together that looked similar to what she, Jamie Lee Curtis, was wearing in the original Halloween film. It wasn't too hard, but it wasn't easy either, as you'll see, I'll show you. I had to look around on eBay and online in different places to find the things to put together for a 1978 NECA Laurie Strode. And again, it's not exact, but I did the best I could, and I think it looks pretty good, I mean, for what it is. For the shirt, yes... I got one of Migos Facts of Life 2D dolls. And I literally found her for five bucks. So I just needed her shirt. And Lori's shirt is blue, as we know, in the original film. So I had to find a way to dye the shirt blue. And I had the dye and everything, but I lost it. So I actually used um, blue color pencils. And it worked well enough, so I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it as it is. And, you know, like I said, the shirt is blue in the film. The only thing I could find, it also has a bigger collar, more pointy collar, and it's unbuttoned. This has Velcro that goes to the top, and the collar is not as pointy. For the jeans, they are from a vintage early 70s Skipper doll an outfit that you could get for Skipper, and I found these rather cheap too, but they are usually very expensive. They didn't fit perfectly, but they had the look of close enough to the jeans that, the bell-bottom jeans that Jamie Lee Curtis wears in the original Halloween. Hers are a little lighter blue, but it works. One of the things that I could not get around, and I looked and I looked, was a hand that would fit her because her hand has the bandage on it with the blood seeping through as seen in Halloween 2. Because again, this is a Halloween 2 Laurie Strode figure. And as we know in the first movie, her hand gets cut. So in Halloween 2, she's at the hospital and they wrap it up. So there's not another female NECA 8-inch figure that I could find to swap the hands out. So, you know, as you see here, her hand also has the you know, the trigger finger so she can hold the gun. So, you know, I couldn't get around that. So I just, I've left the hand, but you could strategically pose her in a way where you wouldn't really notice the hand so much. The only other figure I could think of would be Pamela Voorhees, you know, and, you know, you could get her for her hand and it would fit. I'm sure you could take it off if you had one of these, and it would probably fit the Laurie Strode figure, so you'd also have a fisted hand so you, she could hold a knife. So you could do that, but would you really want to do that to such a rare thing? I mean, and would you really have the guts to take Mrs. Laurie's hand off of her anyways? I mean, and the heart to take Jason's mama's hand for, you know, Laurie, it just feels really wrong. You know, and look at these things on eBay. Yeah, 
at least they give you free shipping for it. But I'm definitely not opening mine. I'm keeping mine closed. Lori is going to keep the hand she has. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I'm not opening mine. Lori will have to keep the hand she has because, you know, I can't buy another Mrs. Vori's for her hand. I also couldn't find a pair of shoes for the Lori figure, like the brown loafers that were probably from JCPenney's that look similar to these ones in this picture. Honestly, the NECA Lori Strode figure's feet are really big, and they're about three inches in length. I'm not kidding. They're, they're For a figure, they're big. So the only thing I could find was a pair of black socks for a Ken doll, and they fit and they give enough of an illusion that she has something on her feet. And once you have her together, you can pose her on a shelf in scenes from the movie. You can pose her with Michael like this, and you could pose her with Dr. Loomis. If there was an actual Linda and Annie figure, you could actually have the three of them together. If there was a Tommy figure, but there's not. So instead, you can just do some scenes like this and set her up. So you can do a Lori figure from the 78 film if you want to. It's not going to be exact. If you can find something better, which maybe you can, I could not find the jeans and the shirt or even the shoes, but maybe you will find some things that are even better. And if you do, leave some comments below and let me know what you got, where you found it, and take some pictures and, you know, post them or something. So... Here it is, the Lori Strode 1978 with Dr. Loomis in the final scene of the movie. I did not put the rip in the shoulder of her shirt with the blood on it because I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to I didn't want to get another shirt. She would literally have to come with two shirts to make, you know, have alternate shirts to wear one that's not ripped and one that is ripped with the blood. So this is her and this is how I'm gonna set her up and you know, like I said, if you want one, you can do it yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye. He's completely mad. Toys in the attic he has. Uh. <laughs> <laughs>